We're at the Imugi Franken HQ here in West Boylston, Massachusetts. I'm here with Marlon. We're going to be digging into why you should be considering thread milling. Marlon, you guys already make amazing taps. Probably most of the people out there, they think Imugi, they think taps. So why did you develop the thread mills? Yes, um, more specifically, the multi-line of thread mills was developed as a a continuation of the offering we had for, for TAPS. Uh, in general, thread mills are viewed as a uh, tool that can access or allow you to produce threads in other materials where TAPS couldn't, mm -hmm. or in applications where a TAP with a chamfer doesn't achieve a thread all the way down to the bottom. So a thread mill is the option. And nowadays, you know, materials are becoming more and more difficult to machine and they have a uh, very low run, very low volume uh, type of runs. And so using a thread mill uh, with a cost that's associated to that type of application actually works out well. And since we already had the multi-tap, it was only a matter of time to expand that um, so that people have more access to technologies like milling threads, for example. When it comes to the multi-thread mill line, this is a newer part of the multi-tool program. So what does the offering look like? Do we just have one type of thread mill available or what's the offering? Yeah, it's actually great because um, we, we have an exclusive offering for North American market. Uh, all of these tools are manufactured with uh, blank or inch size blanks. So you can, you can accommodate it in the holders that are available in this area you know, all the holders for the those particular shank sizes. So that's one thing. And the other one in the multi, uh, with thread milling, you can actually use one cutter to produce multiple pitches and diameter, especially with a single point. So that helps us a lot in terms of the job shops, which is where we intend these tools to work best. So um, having one tool to produce right hand or left hand threads, Having one tool to work in such many different materials uh, was a huge advantage. And, you know, a Mugi thread mill, multi-thread mill line offers that versatility and uh, space for manufacturers to house probably about eight of these EDP numbers mm -hmm. will give you up to a hundred different industry standard thread combinations. That's a lot of combinations out of eight different tools, man. Correct. So do you just offer like standard UNC threads or what's the offering look on that side? Sure, so we have tools from 0-80 all the way up to three quarters with the single plane cutters. Okay. Um, we offer the single plane cutters in two and three times diameter. We offer them for UNC, UNF, STIs, uh, metric. You could do, you could use one cutter, for example, if you take a look at the quarter 20 cutter, you can use it and produce about seven different uh, profiles with it. Uh, UNC, UNF, metric, STI metric, STI, UNC and UNF, and so on. So that's the versatility that these type of tools deliver. What about NPT or anything like the thread taps? Can you guys do that too with the thread mills? Correct, so we um, expanded also our multi-thread mill offering to include NPT threads. Okay. Um, we have uh, at least, there's about four different sizes that we can use to, to make up to seven or eight different NPT uh, threads with. So that's another versatility of the multi-line one tool design for two different NPT threads of the same pitch. So you have like a 1 and a 1 8 are both by 27. Yeah. So we have one tool designed for that one. Yeah. Um, you have the 3 quarter and the, eight, and the 3 8 that are both by 18. We have also one tool for both of those. Marlon, with everything that you're offering with this tool, for the people out there that are thinking about using the tool, should they be just throwing it in a collet chuck? Would that be okay? Or would you recommend they hold it a different way to get the best results? Yeah, absolutely. Um, for thread milling in general, we don't recommend using ER collet style holders. Um, it simply doesn't have enough rigidity and it doesn't have the holding power that's required for a three axis simultaneous movement, like what the machine is going to do with the thread mill to produce the thread. And so we recommend as rigid as possible of a, a holder with a 
as much of the shank as you can grab as possible also. So an end mill holder, precision chuck, end mill holder with the Silox screws, or perhaps a, uh, a Mugi FPC holder, of course, is the great option. Um, hydraulics could work. Um, we face it, right? Every, not every shop has the high quality holder. So sometimes all they have is an ER type collet holder. So we would recommend at that point to use a single plane cutter that does not engages the part with a full milling section, which creates the highest levels of deflection. So we recommend that if you only have an ER type collet holder, then perhaps the best solution would be to use a single plane cutter and that's incorporated with this multi, multi line. Yeah, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. For the shops out there watching right now and they're thinking, okay, I wanna try out the multi-thread mill. Do they just order it and they're on their own or what does it look like? They decide they wanna try this tool. What does that look like? Right, so the multi-tool, just like any of our other high-end thread mills, high-performance thread mills, also comes with full support from the Yamugi technical department. Um, we offer you a programming instruction sheet in the form of an Excel file if you want to just create your own based on your CAM software. Or we have also diversified recently more to um, offer master CAM templates that can go along with our, our thread mills and uh, making it very easy for you to uh, transfer the data into your geometries and just get it to run right away. Fantastic. So if the people out there want to give this tool a try, what's the best way to do so? Contact our distributors, uh, place an order. They'll let us know if you need uh, you know, uh, programming instructions. We'll put that in front of you. You can be running within hours. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.